it should be no surprise that digital media has transformed the way teens interact with the world around them. Through social media and messaging apps, a teen has never been so connected, the whole world is at their fingertips. This access can lead to both benefits and risks. One area of risk is when the content they see is toxic or misleading. A growing volume of evidence has found that exposure to certain kinds of digital media are linked to higher levels of depression and anxiety. Here are three things to look out for. First, digital media has led to cyberbullying. Online bullying is usually linked to offline bullying. But when it happens online, it can sometimes be more frequent, more vicious and tragically more permanent. In addition, among teens with marginalized identities, cyberbullying may include more offensive harassment, discrimination, hate crimes and slurs targeting a victim's background. Second, research shows that many teens compare themselves to others online and seek the approval of their peers with likes and comments. But the photos they see online may warp the expectations they have about how people should look. This may begin to reinforce negative views of their bodies or abilities as they scroll through an endless feed of manipulated, curated pictures of peers and celebrities. Finally, teens may find that scrolling through social media gives them a strong sense that they are missing out on what others are doing. The fear of missing out, or FOMO, can create feelings of worthlessness, worry and dissatisfaction in a teen's own daily life. Research shows that many teens experience significant stress to be available and responsive on digital media, and this type of stress predicts increases in depression. However, there are things teens and parents can do to resist the negative effects of digital media. Parents should start by asking teens what they are viewing online and talking with kids about how it feels when they see information online that makes them upset. Co-viewing media with your kids can lead to open, honest and often enjoyable conversations about your family's views and values. Families should also foster an open and ongoing dialogue about the benefits and dangers of online behaviours and how best to handle negative experiences they may face. For teens who are experiencing severe levels of distress, there are also a number of resources available to get help. This video is based on a chapter in the Handbook of Adolescent Digital Media Use and Mental Health. You can learn more about how to protect teens from the risks of digital media by downloading a free copy of the handbook at www.teensandtech.org handbook.